Hi guys and welcome to OpenCardSpecialist.com tutorials. Today I will show you how to install OpenCard manually, meaning not using a FTP or automatic installation software like Softaculous. Today we'll be uploading all the files directly to our web server using a file manager. And for this I'm going to use the file manager coming with the C panel. We already have our OpenCart version downloaded right here. We downloaded the 1.5.4 version. You will find the available versions on the OpenCart.com website under the download section. Here you can download the uh, desired version of OpenCart. Today we choose to download the uh, version 1.5.4 because later in the next videos we will upgrade this version. So we'll go to our uh, C panel and we'll click on upload file. We'll, we'll choose the file located on our desktop, the downloaded uh, zip file from OpenCart. We'll double click it and it automatically starts uploading. And this is the fast part. We can just upload the whole content in a zip file pretty much uh, within a couple of seconds and if you would do it by FTP you would have to upload all the um, files one by one which are over 5000 I believe and that's gonna take you quite some while so we'll refresh our file manager uh, directory and here it is the open cart uh, zip file now we're going to extract the file clicking on extract I have my installation in Dutch but you can notice it by the icon and we'll click extract so we'll see how fast it's already extracted and if we refresh the page we have here the folder but what we want to have now is we want to have all the actual open cart folders in our root directory so what we'll do is we'll double click here we'll double click the upload file and these are the files we want to have in our root so we'll select them all select the first one hold shift down and select the last one now what we're going to do is we're going to move the files and what we'll do is we'll move the files to our root directory and in this case it's the tutorial directory so we're going to delete this move files and our files are now in the root directory we can delete the uh, open cart uh, unnecessary folder I like to keep keep my installations clean as well goes for the uh, zip file it will only take more space so once we have all our files um, uploaded to our server we can now go to the URL where we upload them so in this case this is tutorial.opencardspecialist.com immediately we'll get the uh, license agreement we'll click agree to the license and continue. We can see that step two gives us everything writable and every status is checked and it's all good to go and we can continue. Now in some cases you will find that uh, the status is not writable or the yeah that means that the permissions are not set correctly you will see them here and in some cases you might w need to rename the config file or give the appropriate permissions to the files or folders this will be indicated here but this m mostly um, you will get this page and everything will be fine but depending on the hosting company where you're hosted at this might be different for some users in our case everything is fine so we can continue step three they're gonna ask us to install or put in our database credentials so now we're going to create a database. We'll go back to our C panel and we're going to go to MySQL databases. Here we are. We're going to create a database. We're going to call it tutorial create database. So we can immediately copy this and we go back to our open card installation and we're going to do database name is tutorial We'll go back now we're going to create a user we'll name the user demo and as a password we will generate one 
we got here our generated password we'll copy it and we'll put it immediately in the password field here we click make new user can immediately copy the database user and put it in the field database user now we're not done yet because first we need to link these user and databases together so we'll go the user demo which we just created database was tutorial and we'll add them together we'll give them all the privileges and we'll click OK and there it is your database has been created we'll go back to the installation we can leave this empty but you can actually fill in here what you want I like to leave it as it def is in default and that's the uh, OC underscore now we're gonna add some login credentials to our administration dash dashboard and we'll just go simply for admin admin as a username and a password and for a username or email address I'm sorry we'll choose info at opencardspecialist.com so we got everything filled up I might actually think that I'm going to uh, need the um, IP address so in some cases it can work on localhost and in some cases you need the shared IP address of your hosting so I am using the shared IP address just to be sure click continue and give it a couple of seconds Let's give it a couple of more seconds and there it is we have our open card installed step 4 finished let's check our administration page seems fine admin password admin login and there it is we have our open card installed we still get the uh, warning message that the install folder is insta is still in our root directory so we'll go back to our file manager we'll select the install folder we'll delete it and we'll give an F5 refresh and our mm, warning message is gone so we have OpenCart successfully installed version 1.5.4 uh, this method of installing OpenCart can be extremely handy uh, if you don't want to have the latest version of OpenCart installed. Uh, this can be useful if you still have some extensions which are not yet compatible with the latest version of OpenCart but you want to still keep using them so you can install the version which you want to have installed. That is, if you install it through a Softaculous, it will always install the latest version for you. It's way, yeah, it's, it's easier, but you don't have the freedom of choosing which option you want. So with that said, our OpenCart is installed. In my next video, I will show you how to upgrade OpenCart. So from a version 1.5.4 to a newer version, let's say 1.5.6. I hope you enjo enjoyed the video and if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and yeah have a great day